What? Oh god, where are we? Did we get kidnapped or something? What's going on? I don't know. All I know is it's dark in here and there's some weirdo in the corner staring at us. What weirdo in the corner? Hey boys, I see we all made it. Hey, wait, hey, I recognize that voice. Aren't you the coffee boy? Oh yeah, he is the coffee boy. Wait, what was his name? Well, you guys forgot already? You hired me the other day. And now we're here. Whatever. At least I know where you two ended up. So you're responsible for this. For what? Oh, no. I just got lost and ended up here. Great, so no answers. I do have this paper, though. It's a script. I found it on the ground for some parasites with thigh highs. Oh, God. So they were serious about that. This is going to be a long day. Also, um, all the pages are crusty and stuck together. I don't really know why. Alright, we're here now in some horrifically slapped together studio that, uh, looks like a homeless man was given a blowjob to work on. Yeah, it's awful here. Also, is this desk just cardboard taped together? I can't tell. It's still dark as shit in here. So, anyways, some horrible entity decided it would be funny to dress up all the parasites in some goofy-ass clothes. And give them funny-ass names. Yeah, so we're gonna go over all the things that were changed. Wait, since when were you a part of this script? Well, the script does require three people, and I'm the only other person here, so I guess you're stuck with me. Uh-huh, okay, so what do we have up first? Well, first we have the blocks, the uh, parasite material that have been uh, corrupted by femininity. Okay, so... We have our best defense against the hordes of feminized parasites. The D-Lesbia, um, I mean the, the D-Feminizer. It does the exact same thing the original item does in the mod. Except this time it purifies feminine variants of terrain. They have replaced nodes with namby pamby roots of all silly. It's about as disappointing as my child who wanted to go to art school in all honesty. What happened to your child? I didn't know you were a dad. I ain't. I just forgot to take my pills. Oh. Okay. Also, hey, is that tote bag just a replacement for the flesh shack? Moving on to the parasite drops. So the mandicator has been eviscerated. It is now the more liberal woman decator. Nothing is safe from the womanization of this mod. The orb it used to hold has been turned into a heart. They also did this to the summoner as well. Must have pumped them with the liberal chemical I keep hearing about. Estrogen. What do liberals have to do with this? I thought this was like the project of some mad scientist. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, they have also corrupted four creatures. They turned the beckons into plump and juicy thickens. They've also infected the parasites from within. They turned them from diseased to passionate hearts. They followed the teachings of vegan gains and decided to replace the toxic lung with toxic thighs. They've also ripped out their noxious brains and filled them with silly, turning them into silly brains. The roots of the leftist agenda run deep. Wait, what? What the hell's going on here? Don't don't worry about it, coffee boy. Anyways, lastly, they replaced the essential segment with the essential sock. There are also multiple creatures that have their names changed. However, one has had its name changed on a genetic level. They've messed with the cow, making it the kawo. Also, they turned the gnat into the get. Now... What they did to the Devourer absolutely ruined him forever. Not only was his name ruined, but even his tentacles are cursed by the name Devourer. There are a few honorable mentions, such as the Marauder, which they renamed the Nyarder, the Awogel, the Thyphosis, and lastly the Owodode. It seems even your equipment has been damned by this propaganda. If Alex Jones was still alive, he'd cry here in this next part. Firstly, what is left of the living armor, the helmet has become the living cuteness. 
the chest piece has become the living crop top, the pants have become the living thigh highs, and the boots have become the living feet seats. Also, who's happy in the corner? So, despite gaining sentience, the sentient armor has not survived the feminine apocalypse. This is the Vietnam of masculinity. The helmet has also turned to the cuteness. The sentient chest piece is now a hoodie. The sentient pants now turn to tights. And the boots are still feetsies. Whatever abomination to men everywhere has renamed these creatures have thankfully left the weapons alone. They did change the compass though. So we may forever be lost. It is now the silly seeker. Well, I believe that was everything we had to go over today. Yup, time to pull our chastity belts up, 10 gallon hats, and hike our way back home. I know when I get home, I'm gonna listen to some Joe Rogan and start hunting down Freddie Mercury fans. And maybe some Justin Bieber fans, just to be sure. So, um, how do we get back home? And again, who the fuck is Fappy in the corner? I don't see anybody. Hey, uh, the door is still locked. Why Why is the door still locked? Oh, hey. Looks like someone slipped a note under the door. I guess let's read it. Now tell them about how to edit the config for the game. Oh. So I guess we're not done yet with our job. Okay, I will be doing the config section. So, first... You're gonna wanna, of course, inst have the mod installed, and then you're gonna wanna run it to generate the config files. And after that, there are a couple ways to get to the config files, but my preferred method is this. So, since we're on Windows, we'll be doing the Windows key and R to bring up run, and then we're gonna do percent app data percent. A lot of you are probably familiar with this. And then at the top, dot Minecraft, and then Go to config, and then I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to SR Parasites. This folder right here, all lowercase letters. Open that, and now we'll start with the easy thing. First, disabling both of the Enderman types, because there's two types of Enderman now, ever since the last uh, major update. Uh, there's a Feral Enderman. We're gonna open that. There's the Feral Enderman, and then there's the Assimilated Enderman. Now, the quickest way to find this and disable it is uh, press Control F when you're in the config and then type in Enderman Enabled. It'll bring you straight to the first will be Feral Enderman Enabled. Set that to False. And then it'll bring you to Assimilated Enderman Enabled. Set that up to False as well. <coughs> Click File, Save, exit out of there. Oh, and if uh, you can't open .cfgs.configs, just right click and then open with Notepad and check always use this app to open .cfg files so you'll have no problems with opening them. Next, we're gonna disable uh, Adaptation and that is in srparasites.config. Of course, the Endermen were in the mobs.config. Ignore the systems and world.config. We're not touching those today. So go to SR Parasites, the first config, and then search Damage Types Blacklist. And then go down. Down again. Now, I already have adaptation disabled of course because i hate adaptation personally i'm really not a fan of it in this game but basically this is all the all if not most of the damage types in vanilla minecraft if you want to add modded damage types you will have to add them manually if you know their technical names within the files of the mod in question and then you're going to want to set damage types blacklist inverted to true which i already have done so it'll be false by default as it says here so you'll just want to set that to true and then uh, adaptation is effectively disabled for the vast majority of damage sources and most mods will use uh, 
like generic or like magic or whatever. And then you'll do file and save and then boom, boom. And then close out of that and open the game and the Enderman should no longer bother you and adaptation should be gone for the most part. So yeah, there you have it.